in this experiment we are going to implement 4 by 4 multiplier which has two input input 1 input 2 input 1 consists of 4 bits input 2 consists of 4 bits output is a product which consists of 8 bit here we are using windows 11 in our computer system in that we have installed virtual box and in virtual box we are using xylem we have to generate programming file that is a dot bit file and for that it want user constant file a user constant file which we are going to download from the internet and that will be in windows 11 whereas xylem will be in virtual box so we want the access of user constant file in virtual box xylem tools whereas once i get dot bit file i want to download it into the board by using albert v2 config this tool is in windows 11 whereas dot bit file is in virtual box so i have to transfer this dot bit file into the windows 11 then only i can download my file into the board and so in short i can say xylem tool need the ucf file which is in windows 11 and albert v2 need the dot bit file which is in virtual box to address this issue we are going to share a folder this folder will be shared between virtual box and windows 11 and user constant file we will put inside this share folder as well as this dot bit file we will be storing into the shared folder so that xylem can use ucf file which is already shared in shared folder and albert v2 config tool can use dot bit file which is shared into the shared folder so let's come to the computer screen now here uh, first thing i want two file in my folder so let's say i am creating a folder in e drive the folder name is let's say very log programming and this folder i am going to share uh, between windows 11 and virtual box so i will first download ucf file that is here there are different options user consent files so i will have to copy all the contents of this ucf file and i will save this in my shared folder so i will open notepad i will paste it here then i will go to the file then i will say save as in save as i will select here save a type all files my folder is in e drive folder name is a very log programming and here i will give a name let's say my file name is a my ucf here don't forget to put dot ucf and let's say save it i will have to download configuration tools for windows so i will save it in e drive in e drive agar very log programming here i will save this so now i have saved two things first one in very log programming my ucf file and second one is a albert v2 config file which i am going to use for downloading my bit file so now this folder i want to share that is a very log programming folder i want to share among virtual box and windows 11 now i will have to open virtual box in virtual box i have to go to the setting in setting i have to go to the shared folder in shared folder this thing is blank so now i will click on plus i will choose the folder path so i will have to select on others then desire folder i have to select so e drive then virtual programming select this folder and click on auto mount and say ok so once it is done same name will be appearing here let's say ok you have to close this virtual box and you have to reopen it 
So I will reopen virtual box. Now I will open IC 14.7 virtual machine. Now here there is a folder very log programming. I will drag it so that it will be visible. So now I will double click on very log programming. There are two files. This is a UCF file. I will show these are the contents of UCF file which we are going to use in Xilinx tool. Now I will open Xilinx. So go to the project navigator. Here I will go to the again file and I will choose new project. Here I will be giving a name. Let's say name is a multiplier. This name will be given to one of the folders. Already it is exist. So let's say multiplier 2. Go to the next. Then these are the specifications according to our boards. Let's say next. Then say finish. After that, we have to click on this. Then click on right click on here and say new source. Then very log module. Say my multiplier. Let's say next. Here I have to specify inputs and output. Directly I will say next because in the program itself I will be mentioning inputs and output. So I will remove the comments. And here I will be writing my enter program. So uh, my today's discussion of topic is how to download the dot bit file into the board. And that's why I will not show or I will not explain how this multiplier is a design. So I will directly copy paste the program which I have already written. So I have pasted my program here. Now I will save it. Once I save it, it will be showing half adder as well as full adder sub modules. So I will verify it. Now uh, I have to also double click on implement design. Then go to the new source. Then I will have to choose very log text fixture and I will say multiplier test bench. That's a TB means test bench. So go to the next, next, finish. Select simulation, then I will click here and I will say behavioral check syntax. There is no error, so now I will double click on simulate behavioral model. Now I will click on this part. Now, here uh, to zoom, I will use magnifier. Now, suppose once again I will zoom it. For this combination, that is input 1 is 0010, input 2 is 0011, that means 2 multiply 3, answer is 6, it is at the top position. Then next input is, a first input is a 0100, that is a 4, then 0101, that is a 5, 4 multiply 5, answer is 20, so it is showing at first um, slot. And then, so by programming is working correctly according to my waveform now i have to download this program into the board so i will close this window first then i will have to go to the implement and after implement i have to add ucf file so i will right click here add i will click on add sources ucf file is a in shared folder so i will have to go to the ic very log programming that is a shared folder. There is a UCF file. I will say open and say OK. Once it is done, it will be attached at the bottom. So, this is my file. So, what we want our multiplier is having 8 input and 2 output. Keep in mind 4 inputs for 
input 1, 4 input, 4 input 2 and output will be consist of 8 bit. So, I will keep only desired parameters. I want LEDs to observe the output. This thing I want and we want 8 input. The N8 inputs are here. DP switch 0 to DP switch 7. So, these 8 inputs I want and these 8 as an output I want. So, remaining lines I have to remove. So, what I will do? I will remove all the lines. Now, I have to specify names. Whatever names I am using for input and output, same name I have to use. So, I will go to the my multiplier. My inputs are INP1. This is my input which is consist of 4 bit. So, I will go to the my UCF and I will say to my inputs and output. My inputs are input 1, input 2. Both inputs are of 4 bit. Totally there are 8 bits and my output is of 8 bit. Name is a product. So, same thing is mentioned here. So, now I will save it and I will once again go through all the procedures as like a previous. And at the last, I will click on generate programming file. So, now I will go to the uh my folder folder is a IAC name is a multiplier 2 and I will search for dot bit file it is here dot bit file is here in case if you download this bit file and if you are not getting output you have to do one more thing you have to go to the project then you have to clean clean up project files and once again you can generate all the files like you can go through synthesis to generate programming file. So, programming file is uh, generated. I will go to the ISC home, then multiplier to dot bit file. I will search for dot bit file. It is not uh, generated, I think. So, once again, I will have to go through all the process. Slowly, it is generating all the files dot bit file where is a dot bit file yes it is there dot bit file so i will copy this file into the with log programming folder which is shared folder so that i can access it from windows 11 so now i will close this now i don't want this virtual machine or virtual box now i will open e drive with log programming now, this dot bit file I want to download into the board, and this is the software I am going to use for downloading the file. Now, I will open device manager, I will search which board it has selected, so which COM port it has selected, COM port 4 is selected. So, I will close it, I will open Elbert V2 config file. I will select COM port 4, then I will select open file and I will choose my file that is in E drive and folder name is Real Log Programming. File is a multiplier.bit, say open and click on program. At the same time, I will show camera view what is happening. So, these are 8 DIP switches acting as a input 1 and input 2. These are LEDs acting as a output that is a product. 1, 2, 3, 4. These 4 switches are acting as a 4 bits of first input. 1, 2, 3, 4. These DIP switches are acting as a bits of second input. So, let's say make 0, 0, 0, 1 as the first input multiply 0, 0, 0, 1 second input. So, 1 multiply 1 answer is a 1. Similar way if I make input of second as a 1, 1 and first one is a 0, 0, 0, 1. So, 1 multiply 3 answer is 3. So, let's make 
two LSB bit of first input as a one one, and two LSB bits of second input as a one one. So one one multiply one one. That is a three multiply three. Answer is nine. So one zero zero one one. That is a nine. Is the answer on LED. So in this way, we have downloaded our code into the board, Albert V two board, and we have observed the output on the board.